welcome all to episode 2 of Let's Play Rogue Legacy by me, Lathrix. Today we're following the footsteps of another brave hero in our long and lustrous bloodline, and we have the choice of three as always. The first, Sir Hero. Your standard hero, very good at everything, as he is a knight. He has no peripheral vision, however, which means any shots outside of the screen will not be tracked, meaning it will be very difficult to dodge incoming bullets, tears, etc. His ability is a dagger. The second hero is Lady Henrietta, also a knight with EDS, which means you are very flexible. I am not sure what that does, but I'm sure we'll find out if we pick her. She has OCD, which is a very good trait, which means every time you break an item within the castle, aka a chandelier, and such, you will get a tiny bit of mana back, and keep, uh, and that will be used for your, for your ability. Her ability is a chakram, which will, which is kind of like a boomerang, but far far sharper. And finally, there is Lady Jenny, who is a barbarian with IBS. Yep, that's a thing now. She also has the scythes. From what I hear, a barbarian has high health, but weak attack. Being a new player, I think that will be a good choice for me. And here we are back at the manor. And those who have seen my previous Let's Play, the first one, will know I didn't do especially well with our last run. And so my gold reserves are fairly low. The only two op options I have available to unlock with my meagre 120 coins are the manor up and upgrade to knight upgrades. Since mana, it seems, is fairly useless for a Barbarian, I think I'll go ahead and upgrade the Knight for future runs. There we go. Promote your Knights into Paladins. These, sorry, through rigorous training, Paladins have learned how to block blows from any direction. That's right, your Knight can now use his shield. Amazing work there, Knight. You're now a Paladin give yourself a pat on the back. So, we're going to carry on from here. And it should be fun. Yep, I definitely have more health than the others. Ooh, so that's what scythes do. And I definitely hit for less. Okay, so we can... And I do have IBS, and that's what you just saw there. So I think in this run, I'm simply going to go for gold. I'm going to try and find as many chests as possible. I have nowhere near equipped enough to fight a boss yet, but... That's in the future, I've got a fair few lives to go. And a fair few children it seems. With the and spikes. Ooh, God spikes my living nightmare. They really are. And by living nightmare I just mean dead. Oh well. Okay, choice of four, I think I'll go down. Anyway, if you enjoy this let's play, please give me a like. It helps out so much this early on in someone's YouTube career. It's unbelievable. If you don't like it, well, don't like it. <laughs> okay, red tears. If we'd pick the other hero, the one without peripheral vision, we'd be struggling now as we wouldn't be able to see the tears or fireballs coming. Although it did manage to hit us regardless. Got some health there, which is good considering we already got hit. And more coins are always a good thing. Okay, more coins from the chandeliers, which is always a logical step. Scones in the walls, which I th definitely think is cheating, and eyeball firing at me from somewhere. I'm going to carry on to the right rather than going up. Oh, I thought this room was a bit too peaceful. Hello, zombie! That's Fred the zombie. Our local caretaker. Ah, this is the boss room. And this is a knight's chest plate, our very first equipable item, which will be amazing if we have enough gold to do so. When we get back, I think that will increase our armor and health if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. Still new to the game, but doing quite well so far. I say as I almost get hit in the face with a fireball, which will ruin most people's day, I presume. Touch fireball, touch another fireball. Not swearing, of course, on this channel. It's a very sophisticated channel for sophisticated people. And I get hit in the face with a sword. Still a sword or a fireball, I think I'll go with a sword to be perfectly honest with you. That's not a doom bass, because it's not. Damn it. Moving, I was going to say. The painting is a moving effort, it's not an enemy, but I was focusing so much on the beautiful painting. The beautiful artwork in this 
wonderful castle that I got hit in the face with another sword. This poor lady is getting beat up rather badly in this one room, but the room is vanquished and as a reward, riches beyond our wildest dreams. Ooh. This is the forest. That is for a higher level. Far higher level than me right now, being only level 5, I would surely be utterly obliterated, just like in that room, so I'm going to carry on. After this one, I really want to try out a nave again, and possibly upgrade them, because I hear that they will upgrade to a much, much more powerful version. With, um, with a higher critical strike chance and critical strike damage. Now, there's a massive pack of coins there on the floor, which I want. Oh, what? How did I get hit there? Okay, I'm not 100% sure how I got hit on those spikes on the way down. I'm fairly certain I didn't go underneath them, so God knows how I could get hit. Well, I'm very low health now, but there's a chest guarded by a Doomscape. Oh my God. Well. Lady Jenny, I'm afraid you were killed by the killer portrait. Guardian of all things shiny. Apparently Doomscapes are horrible. Okay, there's our next lot of brave heroes. On the bottom we have Lady Blair, the Paladin now. So now she can use her shields. She is a homosexual and has a blade wall. Which I think is like a shield that goes in front of you. So we have a double shield. Sir Hero, again. This time he's a barbarian. He has weak muscles, so he can't knock enemies back very far, which would be annoying, and has dementia. I believe that is a really horrible trait, as I think it spawns monsters that aren't actually there, but you don't realise until you actually hit them. And also has a blidal and Sir Teddy. The barbarian, which is scared of chickens, and is bald, but throws daggers. I think I'm going to go with the, pal the female paladin, as I wish to test out the shield. Okay, we're back here, but we're going to check the equipment first. If I can figure out to get out, there you go, to escape. And see if we can afford this new chest plate of ours. Oh, you can actually buy new things. Oh, you already have some basic things unlocked. I did not realise that. Though I should have since I've probably shown it last time. Ooh, the chest plate costs 525, but will increase our armour by 16. We currently have no armour, so I can only assume that is amazing. Okay, I now have a nice chest. Ooh, it actually uh, seems to affect how I look. That's good. The Squire Sword increases damage. And the Squire Limbs increases magic. I think I'm going to go with the damage and then see if I can unlock anything else with the mana as any gold we keep is completely wasted. I didn't do that on purpose, but it seemed that it was a good thing as it's unlocked other options. The enchant, so what I accidentally clicked on was equip up, which will let us equip more white. So it'll be good later on. We can unlock the enchantress, who unlocks magical powers and runes, or the architect. I think at this level the enchantress should be more useful, as she'll allow us to use runes, which we'll unlock in chests. Empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Find runes to increase her repertoire of body modifying talents. A crystal ball is just for show, people. Don't gaze into it. You may go insane. Like our other poor hero we could have chosen with dementia. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I am in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful enchantress. But one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. That's a regular occurrence here, it seems. They encased that knowledge in runes. And without those runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell it to you and make a profit. What a lovely person. Oh, and she already does have unlockable runes, which are the sprint room, which allows me to dash, the vault room, which allows me to double jump, which I'm getting as soon as possible, and that appears to be it. Okay, so that's my new goal. Let's see if we can afford to get the vault rune this run. I hope everyone's doing well who's watching. So far, the last video actually got, as I say, it's got its first like, which is my first ever like on YouTube. The start of many, I hope. 
as I say, feel free to drop a like if you're actually enjoying the series. And soon we'll be doing a new series with my girlfriend, which will be called Girlfriend vs. Boyfriend, The Diamond Challenge, which is going to be a Feed the Beast Minecraft uh, series, which is going to be a odd series, which is simply going to be who can get to a 2x2 two two tower, 10 high of diamond blocks first. The winner is going to be able to get the other to pay for a free course meal of their choosing. If I win, I'm going to be taking us, well, with her money, I'll be taking us to a Chinese restaurant, one local to us, which I am absolutely addicted to. If she wins, most likely it'll be an Italian, which I'm not too fond of, which I'll be paying for. That series will be coming out probably next week, but hopefully, if, if we can, it'll be earlier than that. We hope that'll get a fair few views. We, as, as you don't see too many female Let's Players, which I'm quite sad about. Okay, here we are, the Prince's Journal. This is our second one. Although I am the eldest child, I am not my father's favourite. I have always known he had planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less but the throne upon his passing. Though, upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters. Back to the royal city, where we will once again be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass. But I am getting ahead of myself. I must keep priorities clear. Conquer the castle. Find the cure. Collect my reward. Being that three generations have already passed, I cannot believe that the king is still alive. But we'll find out. He may have some ooh, immortal powers we are not familiar with. These guys are horrible. The fact they can actually shoot through the oh damn it, the stage if they are close enough to the wall or the platform is an absolute nightmare. Okay, there is a chest up there, but it does seem like a horrible room. Oh yeah, I can block. So it's A to block. Apparently it costs mana, but only if I actually get a block off. Which seems fairly useful. I don't know how, how useful it will be, but... We'll find out. Oh, I also have the Blade Wall ability. Which we must test soon. Let's see if we can pull the... Oh, we can. That seemed alright. It lasts quite a while, so I'm hoping it does multiple hits. Squire Chestplate. I believe we're currently wielding the squ the knight's chest plate, so I can't imagine that squire is better than knight, but it always could be. I don't think this game really wants to make sense all that much anyhow, so... Really not a bad thing there. Oh, there's another chest, but... It's also quite heavy. Okay, we're going to try a block. Okay, it costs 25 mana per block, it seems. Oh, but if you get a certain amount of blocks in a short space of time, it only uses up 25 mana, which is good considering the small mana pool I have currently. I really want to try out a mage to see how good they are. Or a mage, however you pronounce it. People always seem to fight over how that's pronounced. I personally say mage, people say mage, or mage. I don't even want to know how some people pronounce it. This gets confusing after the first few. We have quite a lot of gold, which means we can definitely afford our vault rune, which is a lovely thing. Damn it. We'll probably be trying run, one more run after this before we... Oh god. I really do not like the, the creatures. Last episode I did say how I didn't see the difficulty yet. I now really do see the difficulty. For such a simple platformer, it, I think the teleport pad here means that I'm going to hit the forest. Yep, which I'm knowing, not going to go nowhere near. As I was saying, for such a simple platformer, they really do know oh, how to make it very challenging. Without making it too unfair, I think. That's my opinion. Oh god. How much is that chest? Ah, I think I've seen this happen before to someone else. There's a small patch there that, that basically allows you to enter, but only if you're small enough. Which means only a dwarf child can actually get there. A dwarf um, 
What is that? Child? Obviously, if this knight is no child. Uh, a dwarf? I can't think of what it's going to be called. A hare to the throne. The next generation. If one happens to be a dwarf, they can get through there, which is very handy. Sadly, this character is not a dwarf. In fact, she's rather beefy. No offence to you, love. Okay, that's amazing. And we got it. Kinda surprised that actually. Managed to do it without taking damage. And then I take damage. Okay, I have one hit left. This may be the last run as I am already struggling for time. I really am strict on time at the moment. I don't know how I managed to survive that. I really think that was the end. Okay, we're carrying up. Ooh, I think this allows me to change my ability to the Conflux. I don't know what this one does, and I have low health, so I'll probably test it soon to see another enemy. Except, ooh, well, that's awesome. Ah, but it did cost me 30 mana at the post of 15 of the last ability. You still hear them going if you listen carefully. Okay, found the boss yet again. But there's no point in trying to engage him as we've, we've got no health whatsoever and it's, well, a boss. Oh, okay. Is this the end of... Oh my god, it actually is. Okay, Lady Blair was slain by a scout. Well done, Lady Blair. You were the first paladin. And the best paladin. We're going to spend our points, our gold coins. We've got Lady Ant Antoinette with no traits, simply a barbarian. Sir Teddy, the mage, yes! Finally got a mage coming in. And Lady Teresa, the barbarian. I'm afraid, you two lovely ladies, I'm going with Sir Teddy, the mage with the glorious beard, who can't see in 3D. I'm not sure what that does. Got a lot of money, but the first thing's first. I want... Okay, so the attack is very low, but... Oh, that hits for a ton! Okay. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, I want to see the chest plate. The new chest plate, which is, yep, it's worse than the old one, so it's pointless So it's pointless unlocking. However, we can unlock the squire helm, which will increase our mana. And we can unlock the squire limbs. We can't use it yet, as we don't have enough white, but we will get that later on. The sprint rune is now unlocked, and so is the vault rune, which means I can do dashes and double jumps. Ah, I can't see in 3D, so when I turn, I simply disappear. That's funny. Oh, I can upgrade the mage, but I didn't realise that's too late now. We'll do that next time. We can upgrade our equip up, though, which means we can come back. And now, if I'm lucky enough, we will be able to wield the squire limbs. So that increases our magic slightly more. So it's... Yep, it's went up from 30... The early 30s to 37. Okay. Once more, we gaze upon the, the cloaked figure of Charon, the Grim Reaper. Or at least, what I take to be the Grim Reaper, that's my interpretation of him. I can imagine this being Death's castle. Certainly has enough death for me, anyway. Okay, here we go. Now, this spell, I think it actually drains mana all the time. Mana. All the time it is active. So it's, uh, yes, it does. Oh, a horribly quick rate. So, we should only use it when we need to. Sadly, I think I'm going to have to call it there, as my ride has arrived, and it is time to go back to university for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to give a like. It helps so much this early on. Subscribe, and please comment. Thank you again. Goodbye.